acting, that's no way to run a restaurant. The fight that forced a popular Agoura Hills restaurant to serve its last bowl of pasta. A popular Italian restaurant in Agora Hill shut down unexpectedly this week, and not because of lack of customers. It happened because of a fight over parking, and that led to some serious drama. Fox 11, Susan Harasuna is live in Agora Hills with a story you'll see only on Fox 11. Susan. Yeah, typically, Osteria Orto is open for dinner and lunch, but not today. The management of the Lake Ladero Country Club shut off the water, the gas, and blocked access to this parking lot. So now the chef says no more. The country club says that his lease is invalid and owes a lot of money. This is what Osteria Orto looked like on a busy Friday night. This is what it looks like now. We've taken down all of our paintings from the wall. Um, you know, we're just kind of slowly trying to gather all of our um, all of our equipment and our you know, personal belongings. The popular Italian restaurant was forced to shut down service Wednesday. The restaurant is located on Lake Lindero Country Club, and the management started to tell people they couldn't park in the club's lot. And worse, they chained and locked the gate. It was embarrassing. The gate was closed. People they had to walk around. The parking lot was completely dark, no light at all. At all. And, I mean, all our customers, they appreciated, they did it but we didn't want to push it too much. It's not fair to the customers. Chef Francesco Pesce opened Osteria Orto on the premises of the club three years ago. The management insists the lease he signed with the previous management company is no longer valid. Chef Pesce says he has a judge on his side. I have this with uh, David Smith and GPL, and the judge hasn't said we are out yet. And he, actually, the judge, the judge has said to us, you still have seven years. Perhaps, but the club's CEO, Chris Baroni, has other complaints. Baroni claims there are unpaid sales tax and utility bills, and the restaurant's owner is not properly included on the club's seller's permit. That's the right that we have to sell taxable items through this country club. They don't have one. That's a problem because we do, and we have to pay the sales tax. Pesce insists he's paid up until January 1st. Baroni says the outstanding bill is in the tens of thousands. The tactics to get the restaurant shut down ramped up this week. The water was shut off, the gas turned off. The fight now seems contentious. If you look at the chain of events, chain off the parking lot, turn off the chain water, off the turn off the gas. These are all things we're doing to help protect the restaurant, the property, and the people here. And I would encourage anybody to look at that. And Locking say, off access to the parking lot? as is our right when you're four months behind and owe us $40,000 plus, dollars, yes. Even efforts to interview Pesce and employee Chris Fish were complicated by noisy gardeners. I pay a million dollars a set. And a strident club member. Uh, when they get compliant, they do the business. You want to show you my bank account with self-tax, late Lindero, self-tax, late Lindero. They can, I mean, you want to see the check paid? You want to see the check? You want to see the check that you cash? It's a lot of he said, he said. Baroni insists he wants the restaurant. Why wouldn't I want him to be here? He's one of the best chefs, the best Italian restaurant I've ever been interested in. The chef says? It's a big, big loss. It's a big loss. All right, well, again, Chef Pesce says he's the victim in all of this, but the club is going to lose out, too. Pesce says that his rent and other payments to the club are based on his sales. But with the restaurant shut down, he'll lose the money, and so will the club. In a girl's heel, Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11. Fuck you. What's your name, sir? Marco. Marco. Okay. Yeah. See you later, Marco. Go fuck yourself. You know you're not allowed on this private property, sir? This is not private property, yeah, it is, sir. The homeowners on this property. Yeah, fuck you. Marco. Okay, I got your name. You're a piece of shit. Sir, can you please leave our property? Sir, please leave the property. I'm asking you nicely. Yeah. Or else what? I don't want to call the sheriff's name. Or, or else what? I don't want to have to call the sheriff's and get Go you arrested. Go fuck sir. yourself. Please. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Go fuck yourself. You're a piece of shit. Let me tell you something. Go ahead, say it. Yeah. Go ahead. In this community, mm -hmm. I'm going to make sure. Oh, you are? That no, yeah. Make okay. sure that nobody okay. comes in this fucking place. Oh, okay, Marco. Because you're a piece of shit. Okay, Marco. He's a piece of shit, by the way. Yeah, He's they don't a believe piece you. of shit. <laughs> That's yeah. what he told you. <laughs> wrong place for you, Marco. Yeah, I'll tell you, it's the wrong place for you. Okay. Okay. 
your little bitch and everything that, you, that you've done here is unethical. Okay, Marco. high over to Gura Hills restaurant, a supporter of Osteria Orta's chef, got into a fist fight with the CEO of the Lake Lindero Country Club. This is a photo shared to Fox 11 of the medical response for Marco Gonzalez. He tells me he declined the help and drove himself to the hospital. He says he has a black eye and was almost choked out by Chris Baroni. Now, Friday, we reported on Baroni's efforts to get the chef to leave his restaurant, starting with shutting off access to the club's parking lot. Chain off the parking lot, turn off the Chain water. Off the well, Baroni says Gonzalez was verbally abusive and was told to leave the property. He's considering trespassing charges against Gonzalez, and Gen Gonzalez claims he's already filed a complaint. All this stems from a dispute over the lease and alleged money owed. The LA County Sheriff's Department responded to the scene yesterday, but no one was arrested.